on the streets outside of every church in America, there are hundreds, if not thousands, if not tens of thousands of women who have suffered through the sin of abortion and are still suffering to this very day. 60 million babies represent 60 million women who have had abortion, men who have been complicit, and perhaps quite a few friends and family around. We could have up to 200 million people in this nation alone that in some way abortion has affected their life. Godly women who have had abortions in their past now are being willing to say, I had an abortion and I want to do something to help others not make that same mistake. It hurt me. I weigh that in my heart every day of my life, my wife included. For years, she just felt she couldn't say anything. It just was too personal, too deep. And I just remember loving Jesus with all my heart. And as I got older, I knew what the scripture said and I had every intention of staying pure. But I remember this one particular boy, you know, as we just, we were just friends, we liked, liked hanging out. I think I was 17, 18, but I found myself pregnant. I just thought of how I would devastate my parents. And that's when his parents actually said, Look, you guys have your whole life ahead of you. That, that abortion, which was the worst, ever, a worse experience. Um, after that, I was like, is this it? I just, I didn't I want to go to sleep and not wake up. I was so depressed. I, re I remember going and hearing Pastor Chuck. And the place was electric. There was tons of people there. I remember him. I felt like he was looking at me. He says, I don't care what you've done. Go, go to Jesus. He will forgive you of whatever you've done. And I, I thought, that's me. I'm, I'm gonna, I want to run up there. And, and just, I felt like that big black burden just came off my back. I was a new person. It's powerfully difficult for women to talk about having had an abortion. How do we address this? How do we speak of this issue without throwing them under the bus? And uh, I have to say, you know, from a pastor's perspective, the film Voiceless is unlike any other film. Voiceless is unique because it is written to the church for the church. If the evangelical born-again Christian churches were just present, when people are choosing whether to have an abortion or not, giving them a choice, women would not choose abortion for that one reason. 84% of women get abortions because they believe they have no choice. We can come alongside them and say, we're here to help you financially, help you with a place to live if you need that, help you with some other options that are there. And I'll tell you what, the fruit from that, we've already seen in our own church. It's outstanding, and I don't want other churches to miss this opportunity.